Waiting to be heard is the sound of the word. Waiting to be seen is the land of unseen. Have you knocked on the door? Do you know what I mean? Have you ever seen the great expanse of the forever lands in the crater's hands, where everything is green and everything is free, and everybody knows what everybody means, and it's like a dream? When the mind expands what it misunderstands, lets go of demands and all of its plans, it releases the strands of beliefs that hold a crystallized mold of limitations from old and prophecies foretold. It's a new day to save the way and pave the way for future generations. So please have consideration for all the implications of your own creations. We are the new nations. We will replace corporations and their selfish demonstrations of greed and the need to feed and make others bleed and poison their seed. We are the answer, the cure for the cancer. I am the dancer that can dance between worlds, bringing back all the pearls for the boys and the girls all over the world. I can't be controlled, because nobody holds the keys to my soul. I am my own nation. Individuation. Representation. Holy divination. I am my own nation. And I got to bring it back and stop the attack every time I pillage and sack. As when I speak out and act, every time I react, only seeing what's mine and then justifying a state of mind that only sees white and black and ignores all the facts. So now is the time to bring it all back. I am the causal core, the central door that leads to a place way beyond space where there's always more. I am a creator, my own divine center, the lover and the hater, the pupil and the mentor. So many moments of a mirror, so many omens from a seer, so much more potential for me to be even freer. But I gotta stop all the blame and all of the shame. Just stop playing that game. And it's not about fame, about being bigger or better, being the pace setter, a real go-getter, or even being right, right down to the letter. It's about responsibility and using that one facility of divine ability to stand at the center of my reality. I am my own nation. Individuation. Representation. Holy divination. I am my own nation. It's the responsibility that makes me more free. But then I can see it's still not just me. There's something even greater, something even higher, some kind of holy fire that's birthing my desire. It's something I require, or I might as well retire. But I won't give up, because I know I can live up to my potential. I know I've got a big cup. I am essential, and it won't fulfill without me. So I fill up my cup with ecstasy and the pure joy of being me. And then I look within, beyond my own skin, to the source within where all of life begins. And I give thanks. I love you. I want you. I want to move up your ranks and feel you at my flank. I want you all around me so that you surround me. I surrender. I give up, let go and allow so that you can show me how to be a servant of the now. My body is my land. I am my own king. The kingdom is at hand. I serve an inner dream and nobody kneel to me because I got my own fealty that is very real to me. That's what I represent. Re-pre-zent. It's what the moment sent and what the angels meant in the Old Testament. Beyond a fallacy, I represent reality when my focus is intent on love, peace, and enlightenment. I am my own nation. We are sovereign representatives from dimensions and realities beyond, here to bring an increase of divine love energy into this world. May it be so, sovereign in service. <laughs>